Millions of people worldwide will be able to watch this incredible spectacle as the moon casts its shadow on the Earth. But before you grab your sunglasses and go outside, it's critical to grasp the significance of eye safety and good viewing skills. We'll also look at the science of solar eclipses, including why they happen and what makes them so fascinating. So, join us as we explore the realm of the 2024 solar eclipse and learn everything there is to know about this incredible cosmic event. What is a total solar eclipse? A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between Earth and the sun, completely covering the sun's face. If you're in the correct spot, you'll notice the sun completely disappears. If you're not in that exact spot, you'll notice a portion of the sun still visible. When this eclipse occurs, the sky turns dark, just like at sunrise or sunset. First, the moon appears to bite the sun, forming a crescent. This phase can last between 70 and 80 minutes, depending on where you are. As the moon moves, it gradually conceals more of the sun. You may detect dazzling drops of light around the moon, known as Bailey's beads. These fade as the eclipse approaches totality, leaving only a bright point that resembles a large, dazzling ring. When the eclipse is complete, the ring disappears, and it becomes quite black. You might even see stars or planets in the sky, and the air may feel cooler. Animals might also become silent. During totality, you may notice a pink circle around the moon called the chromosphere and a white light called the corona. After totality, as the moon moves away, the sparkling ring and beads will reappear until the sun is totally visible. The Solar Eclipse of 2024 On April 8, 2024, everyone across North America, from Mexico to Canada, was treated to an incredible sight, a total solar eclipse. This is the day after the moon was closest to Earth, and when the moon seemed slightly larger than usual. The complete eclipse lasted 4 minutes and 28 seconds, just north of Nazas in Durango, Mexico. This marked the first total solar eclipse in Canada since 1979, Mexico since 1991, and the United States since 2017. No other eclipse in the 21st century will be fully visible from all three countries. The next total solar eclipse in the United States will occur on March 30, 2033, crossing over Alaska. The next one in the lower 48 states will occur on August 23, 2044. Another total eclipse, similar to the one in 2017, will occur on August 12, 2045, stretching from coast to coast. The last eclipse of the year will occur on October 2, 2024. Differences between this and the last solar eclipse. On April 8, 2024, millions of people in the United States will see a total solar eclipse similar to the awe-inspiring occurrence of August 21, 2017. However, this forthcoming eclipse has some major distinctions in its path, duration, and scientific significance. To begin, the path of totality for the 2024 eclipse is larger and crosses more densely populated areas than the 2017 eclipse. The path is 108 to 122 miles broad encompassing more land and making it easier for individuals to witness totality. Furthermore, a projected 31 million individuals live in the path of totality this year, compared to 12 million in 2017. In addition, the totality will stay longer during the 2017 eclipse. The longest duration of totality in 2017 was 2 minutes and 42 seconds, but this eclipse will go up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds near Torreon, Mexico, and up to 4 minutes and 26 seconds in Texas. Even when the eclipse crosses into Canada, totality will endure up to 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Another notable distinction is increased solar activity during the 2024 eclipse. In 2017, the sun was approaching solar minimum, resulting in a simpler appearance of the corona. However, during the forthcoming eclipse, the sun will be at or near solar maximum, allowing spectators to witness streamers across the corona 
as well as prominences, which are bright pink curls or loops emanating from the sun. Furthermore, NASA is financing a number of scientific projects during the 2024 eclipse to investigate the sun and its impact on Earth. These projects, directed by experts from various academic institutions, will make use of instruments such as cameras on high-altitude research planes and amateur radios. Furthermore, two spacecraft, NASA's Parker Solar Probe and ESA and NASA's Solar Orbiter, have launched since the 2017 eclipse, revealing new insights into the sun's corona. These missions supplement Earth-based observations, providing a thorough picture of solar processes. While the 2024 total solar eclipse shares parallel with its predecessor, it also offers interesting changes in the path, duration of totality, solar activity, and prospects for scientific inquiry. This eclipse has a larger path of totality, allowing more people to see the spectacle firsthand. With technological developments and greater interest in solar phenomena, researchers are better positioned to examine the eclipse's consequences on Earth and advance our understanding of the sun's behavior, safely watching the phenomenon. During a solar eclipse, the moon passes between the sun and the Earth, casting a shadow on the Earth. This celestial phenomenon might be breathtaking to watch, but it is critical to safeguard your eyes. The only time it is safe to stare directly at the sun during an eclipse is during the totality phase, when the moon totally obscures the sun's brilliant disk. During totality, the sky darkens and the sun's corona becomes visible, producing an incredible sight. However, totality only lasts a few minutes. Therefore, eye protection is required before and after this phase. NASA recommends utilizing certified compliant eclipse glasses or handheld solar viewers to examine the sun during a solar eclipse. These glasses are specifically designed to prevent dangerous solar radiation, such as visible, infrared, and ultraviolet light. Without proper eye protection, looking at the sun can cause serious eye damage, including solar retinopathy, a kind of retinal damage induced by exposure to sunlight. Solar retinopathy is a persistent illness with no known cure, so prevention is essential. The need to adopt sufficient eye protection was tragically underlined during the 2017 total solar eclipse when a young woman was diagnosed with solar retinopathy in both eyes after wearing what physicians thought were inadequate eclipse glasses. This incident emphasizes the importance of using approved, safe eye protection during solar activities. While eclipse glasses are the recommended method for witnessing solar eclipses, there are other safe ways to observe the sun. Telescopes, binoculars, and cameras with specialized sun filters can also be employed. These filters work similarly to eclipse glasses, limiting dangerous sunlight. However, to avoid eye damage, ensure that the filters are specifically developed for solar observation. Contrary to popular perception, ordinary sunglasses are ineffective for watching solar eclipses. Eclipse glasses are substantially darker and offer significantly more protection, blocking harmful radiation that sunglasses cannot. Eclipse glasses lenses are often constructed of black polymer or resin impregnated with carbon particles to effectively filter the sun's bright glare. To assure the legitimacy and safety of eclipse glasses, buy them from reputed manufacturers and dealers. The American Astronomical Society maintains a list of recognized merchants who meet safety requirements for eclipse glasses and filters. Furthermore, if you are concerned about the legitimacy of eclipse glasses, it is recommended that you try them indoors before wearing them outside to guarantee they give enough protection. When using eclipse glasses, it is critical to observe correct safety precautions. Always put on your glasses before looking at the sun and take them off afterward. Parents should keep a tight eye on children wearing eclipse glasses to ensure they stay on during the eclipse. Additionally, if you wear prescription glasses, you can put eclipse glasses over them or place a handheld viewer in front of them for extra protection. Places it was visible. 
The total solar eclipse of 2024 was a breathtaking celestial phenomenon that captivated millions of people throughout the world. This eclipse, which spanned from the Pacific Ocean near the Marquesas Islands to North America and ended in the Atlantic Ocean, provided a unique and unforgettable experience for those who were fortunate enough to observe it personally. The path of totality in Mexico passed through the states of Sinaloa, Durango, and Coahuila, including Mazatlan and Durango. Residents in these places were treated to a stunning sight. The sun was entirely eclipsed by the moon, plunging the landscape into brief darkness. Meanwhile, the rest of Mexico, including the bustling city of Mexico City, saw a partial eclipse with the moon partially covering the sun's disk. Moving northward, the eclipse passed through several states, including Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. This long course allowed millions of Americans to see either a totality or a partial eclipse, depending on where they were in the eclipse's path. Dallas, Texas, was one of the largest cities in which totality was observed, with both locals and visitors flocking to see this unusual sight. The eclipse also presented an unprecedented chance for scientific investigation and observation, with astronomers and researchers setting up equipment to examine various parts of the event, such as the sun's corona and its effects on Earth's atmosphere. Delta Airlines organized special eclipse-following flights for aviation enthusiasts, allowing them to see the eclipse from above. These flights offered a unique vantage point, with unrestricted views of the eclipse as it unfurled across the landscape below. Total eclipse viewing was possible in regions of southern Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. Cities such as Leamington, Hamilton, Montreal, and Fredericton were able to observe the sun's corona during totality, whereas other parts of the country only saw a partial eclipse. A partial eclipse was visible in several European places, including Svalbard, Iceland, Ireland, and parts of Spain and Portugal. Despite being beyond the path of totality, some areas saw a significant lowering of the sky as the moon partially blocked the sun. Central and South America, as well as Oceania, had the opportunity to see a total or partial eclipse, depending on their geographical location. People from Belize to Panama, the Greater Antilles to Northern South America, and from Hawaii to the Pitcairn Islands all looked up to see this incredible celestial occurrence. The eclipse began its trek over the South Pacific Ocean, stunning viewers with its astounding beauty and majestic majesty. As it traveled across North America, it left an indelible imprint on those who were fortunate enough to experience it, reminding us of the universe's awe-inspiring power and beauty. In addition to the visual show, the eclipse provided scientists with tremendous research and study opportunities. Researchers from all over the world took advantage of the chance to collect data and expand our understanding of the solar system, from researching the sun's corona to detecting its effects on Earth's atmosphere. The complete solar eclipse was a really magnificent event that drew people of all backgrounds together to marvel at the wonders of the universe. As we eagerly anticipate the next eclipse, let us remember this incredible celestial show and continue to investigate the wonders of the universe. Its impact on the economy. The total solar eclipse was more than simply a spectacular natural occurrence. It also provided a huge economic boost to several places. Rochester, New York, for example, expected a significant economic boost of 10 to $12 million for the eclipse weekend. Motel and hotel costs in the eclipse's path increased by up to 100%, indicating a significant demand for accommodations. Restaurants in prominent eclipse viewing areas saw a jump in reservations, with some having to hire additional staff to match the increased demand. One such restaurant in Burlington, Vermont, stated that reservations were rapidly filled once word spread of the city's expected inflow of up to 75,000 guests. 
To accommodate the throng, numerous restaurants modified their business hours. Beyond the hospitality industry, the eclipse had repercussions for regions that rely on solar power generation. States along the totality path, such as Texas, California, and Florida, faced the threat of reduced sunshine for more than two hours, which might have an impact on solar energy production. The eclipse's economic impact went beyond the United States, with locations such as Montreal seeing a significant increase in tourists. Hotel occupancy increased by 20% on April 7th and 8th, attracting guests from a variety of countries and areas, including the United Kingdom, Germany, Colombia, and even parts of Canada. This was Montreal's first total solar eclipse since 1932, making it a rare and widely anticipated occurrence. With the next total solar eclipse not expected, travelers took advantage of the opportunity to see this celestial display, which boosted the city's economic vibrancy throughout the eclipse, a burden on the infrastructure. In preparation for the 2024 complete solar eclipse, authorities in several countries took early steps to resolve potential issues and protect public safety. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Bell County, Texas Judge David Blackburn both proclaimed states of emergency in anticipation of the predicted increase in visitors and the potential for transportation issues. Six inmates at New York's Woodbourne Correctional Facility launched a lawsuit to highlight the eclipse's significance. They stated that the prison's lockdown during the eclipse was incompatible with their religious convictions, emphasizing the event's significance in numerous faith traditions. Finally, the state settled the lawsuit by allowing the detainees to witness the eclipse, demonstrating respect for religious freedoms and accommodations. Even official proceedings were temporarily paused to facilitate eclipse viewing. In Ottawa, the public inquiry into foreign interference in federal electoral processes and democratic institutions was halted, allowing participants, staff, and journalists to observe the celestial phenomenon firsthand. As towns prepared for the surge of visitors, emergency responders in Rochester, New York, planned for possible jams and emergencies. With tens of thousands of tourists expected, authorities predicted clogged roads and probable interruptions to communication networks. To address these issues, the Rochester Police Department and Monroe County Sheriff's Office expanded their workforce and strategically dispersed patrols around the region. They used a variety of resources, including scuba units, the Coast Guard, drones, and police horses, to respond quickly to any situations that may develop. Despite the logistical obstacles caused by the eclipse, Monroe County Emergency Medical Services promised people that their access to medical care would not be impeded. The University of Rochester Medical Center, as well as urgent care centers throughout the county, increased staffing levels to accommodate expected surges in demand. Residents were asked to contact 911 as usual in case of an emergency, with safeguards in place to ensure rapid response and treatment. However, the biggest fear for first responders remained the possibility of gridlocked roads. Unlike regular traffic patterns seen following events such as Buffalo Bills games, the eclipse offered a new difficulty. With tourists anticipated to travel in a variety of directions, to the city, parks, sponsored activities, and even to Lake Ontario, authorities were left with the formidable task of controlling many areas of congestion at once. With up to 150,000 tourists expected in Monroe County alone, Officials stressed the significance of preparing ahead and taking proactive steps to reduce traffic congestion. Residents were encouraged to arrive at their preferred viewing places early and stay there until the eclipse was over. Partnerships with tow truck businesses were formed to speed up the clearance of possible traffic accidents, although authorities maintained the ability to shut lanes for first responders if necessary. As cities across North America eagerly awaited the celestial spectacle of the complete solar eclipse, emergency personnel were ready to protect the safety and well-being of all citizens and visitors. Authorities attempted to minimize disturbances and ensure a seamless viewing experience for all by planning and coordinating ahead of time. Emergency at the hospital. On the day of the total solar eclipse, 
hospitals across the United States prepared to meet potential hurdles while ensuring the safety of patients and staff. With millions of people expected to travel to see the eclipse, hospitals along the path of totality have taken early steps to meet increased demand for healthcare services and potential disruptions. Hospitals have increased personnel levels, planned for emergency transport, and implemented a number of preventative steps in anticipation of the flood of visitors. For example, hospitals in southern Indiana and central Texas have been making substantial preparations to accommodate the enormous number of individuals expecting to attend. They have been providing lodgings and meals to healthcare professionals who may need to spend the night at the hospital in order to minimize traffic congestion and ensure proper staffing levels. Advent Health in Central Texas has even suspended elective procedures and strengthened security measures to deal with the flood of guests and avoid parking lot overflow. In New York, hospitals have provided their employees with handheld radios and priority access cards to facilitate communication in the event of network failures. Emergency response teams are on high alert, with EMS providers deliberately planning ambulance stops to ensure rapid response amidst increased traffic. Hospitals have also worked with local emergency services to coordinate response efforts and guarantee that patients receive the necessary care during the eclipse. Despite their preparations, hospitals remain cautious and attentive. Lessons from previous eclipses have pushed hospitals to take a more proactive approach, recognizing the need to be prepared for any eventuality. As Jonathan Billings, COO of Northwestern Medical Center in Vermont, noted, hospitals would rather be prepared and not require it than be caught off guard. While hospitals are focused on providing health care during the eclipse, many have also embraced the event's excitement. Hospitals held watching parties, issuing specialized glasses for safe eclipse viewing, and even making themed souvenirs for employees and patients. Despite the expectation and enthusiasm, there have been questions regarding the potential health effects of solar eclipses. Some people have reported feeling symptoms such as weariness, balance problems, and anxiety during and following eclipses, a condition known as eclipse sickness. While research on the subject is varied, experts feel that the psychological and physiological consequences of eclipses are more likely due to excitement and fear than to any direct impact on human health. Hospitals are taking proactive steps to safeguard the safety and well-being of patients and staff during the complete solar eclipse. While enormous preparations have been made, hospitals remain attentive and ready to respond to any obstacles that may occur all while enjoying the thrill and celebration of this unique celestial event. Issues with the mobile networks. Large numbers of people were expected to converge to observe the complete solar eclipse on April 8th in locations such as Niagara Falls, New York. However, the flood of people may put pressure on cell phone networks, potentially causing service outages. During the 2017 eclipse, some areas' populations doubled, causing cell network congestion. To solve this issue, telecoms providers such as Rogers Communications Inc. took aggressive steps. They deployed portable mobile towers along the eclipse path, including Niagara Falls, to accommodate the anticipated spike in wireless traffic. Additionally, technical work was suspended on that day to ensure network reliability. Other major Canadian telecom firms like Bell Canada Enterprises Inc. and TELUS Corp. also planned to closely monitor network performance during the eclipse to address any difficulties that may develop. In the event of an emergency during the eclipse, the Alert Ready program will be triggered, sending urgent alerts to mobile phones. These warnings are transmitted via a distinct channel from conventional calls and texts ensuring that the information reaches everyone in the impacted area on their device. Individuals wanting to view the eclipse should ensure that their phones are fully charged and pack vital supplies such as water and snacks. Being prepared can assist in mitigating any issues that may occur as a result of increased activity in eclipse-watching regions. Schools on holiday. 
the solar eclipse forced schools in at least 13 states to change their schedules because of safety concerns and logistical issues posed by the predicted increase in tourism. Because safety is crucial, many schools choose to close their doors, dismiss students early, or hold virtual courses to reduce any risks related to the eclipse. These preventative steps are especially widespread in areas like Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and others that are in the path of totality. For example, the Hayes Consolidated Independent School District in Texas initially intended to carry on with normal operations, even providing eclipse glasses to all students and staff. However, the district ultimately opted to cancel classes after factoring in the impact on emergency response staff and the expected traffic congestion caused by the surge of tourists. Similarly, the Liverpool Central School District in New York chose to close on April 8 due to safety concerns about transporting pupils in the face of increased traffic and events in the neighborhood. With the eclipse predicted to coincide with dismissal time, the district decided it was safer to keep pupils at home. Even schools not on the direct path of the eclipse took precautions to ensure student safisi. Livingston Public Schools in New Jersey, despite only seeing a party al eclipse, ordered an early dismissal to prevent children from staring at the sun without proper e protection. Innovative techniques were ALCL developed to help pupils engage with this unusual celestial occurrence. For example, Rockaway Valley School in Boonton Township, New Jersey, is allowing older pupils to stay after school under parental supervision to see the eclipse with school-provided specialized equipment. Similarly, Pickford Public Schools in Michigan hosted a watch party on its football pitch, during which science professors provided educational insights into the eclipse's significance. In addition, the school sold t-shirts and sunglasses to enrich students' experiences and encourage enthusiasm for astronomy. States such as Indiana and Ohio advise schools to consider a variety of variables while planning eclipse-related activities. These concerns include the possible impact of increasing tourists, disruptions in mobile service, and the provision of protective eyewear to pupils. As excitement grew for this rare cosmic event, Schools prioritized student safety while also capitalizing on the chance to stimulate student curiosity and scientific exploration. Educators ensured that kids can safely view the eclipse and even develop a deeper appreciation for the wonders of the universe through meticulous planning and proactive actions. Dangers for the animals. So what impact will the eclipse have on our wildlife and pets? Veterinarians provided insights and advice to keep pets safe throughout this spectacular event. With about 180 million people living in the eclipse's path, many pet owners are concerned about how their animals will respond. However, because of the rarity of eclipses, there is little scientific research on the subject. Veterinarians intended to examine animal behavior during the eclipse to learn more. While most animals may be unaffected, pets such as dogs and cats may experience brief moments of confusion or panic during the eclipse. Some may hide, howl, or pace when the sky darkens. Indoor pets are less likely to be affected. Interestingly, it is not the eclipse itself that can affect animals, but rather human behavior. Pets pick up on their owner's emotions, so if they sense tension or commotion, they may get anxious as well. Large parties and travel can be extremely stressful for pets. Fortunately, most pets know not to gaze at the sun, which can injure their eyes. However, pet owners should use caution and not leave eclipse glasses unsecured since pets may gnaw on them. It is advisable to keep pets indoors during the eclipse, especially if they are anxious about people or events like fireworks. Pet owners wishing to attend eclipse activities must respect their pet's boundaries. It is best to leave pets at home with a reputable pet sitter or in a safe and comfortable location. Furthermore, providing extra comfort and reassurance to pets at home during the eclipse can help to reduce their nervousness. If taking their pets to eclipse activities, make sure they are microchipped and on a leash. 
While the eclipse offers little risk to pets, exercising caution and utilizing common sense will help assure their safety and well-being during this celestial display. Eclipses lead to discoveries. In 1919, Arthur Eddington, director of the Cambridge Observatory, eagerly awaited the sun's rise on Principe, a small volcanic island off Africa's western coast. The suspense was great as the island prepared to experience a rare total solar eclipse, the longest since 1416 and lasting an incredible six minutes. This celestial event was extremely important to Eddington because it provided an opportunity to test one of his time's most significant ideas, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein's theory, proposed in 1915, questioned the conventional view of gravity as a mutual attraction between things. Instead, it proposed that gravity is a curvature of space-time generated by large objects. Light passing through this bent space-time would appear to bend around huge objects, such as the Sun. An eclipse presented an excellent opportunity to put this prediction to the test. Astronomers may test or deny Einstein's new hypothesis by observing how the sun's gravity twisted the light of faraway stars during an eclipse. To perform this groundbreaking experiment, two teams of astronomers set off on separate travels. Eddington led an expedition to Principe, and Frank Dyson of the Greenwich Observatory led another to Sobral, Brazil. Their goal was to photograph stars near the sun in totality, when the moon totally hid the sun's dazzling face, making distant stars visible. As the eclipse approached, clouds threatened to block the view, heightening the already high stakes. However, just before totality, the clouds broke to show a clear sky. Eddington and his crew grasped the opportunity and quickly captured photos of the Hyades star cluster near the sun. They immortalized the cosmic occurrence with photographic plates which were, at the time, cutting-edge technology. Following the eclipse, Eddington compared photos obtained during totality to those taken when there was no eclipse. The results were groundbreaking. The positions of the stars appeared to alter, validating Einstein's theory that gravity could bend light. The confirmation of Einstein's theory was a watershed moment in scientific history, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest physicists of all time. Eddington and Dyson's voyage has far-reaching implications beyond physics. It reflects humanity's constant pursuit of knowledge and comprehension of the universe. Throughout history, solar eclipses have functioned as windows into the cosmos, revealing events that would otherwise be hidden. From ancient Babylonians forecasting eclipses with astonishing precision to current scientists unraveling the mysteries of the universe, eclipses have played a critical part in creating our view of the cosmos. Looking ahead, eclipses will continue to pique people's interest and fuel scientific research. The recent solar eclipse in Worcester, Massachusetts, piqued the interest of both the public and experts. While earlier eclipses have resulted in groundbreaking discoveries, such as the discovery of helium and the validation of Einstein's theory, scientists are currently focusing on resolving the coronal heating problem, a perplexing conundrum involving the sun's exceptionally high temperatures. As we marvel at the grandeur of a solar eclipse, we are reminded of the innumerable discoveries that await us just beyond the moon's shadow. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.